Welcome to another Random Fill Friday. We're doing another fill in nine since we're still in the month of September. So let's go ahead and draw our notes and see what our final rhythm is. Here's the final rhythm for today, and I really like this one. So for beat one, we start with one eighth note. Beat two, we have two sixteenth notes, which gives us two and. And then for beat three, we have one last eighth note. So let's go ahead and hear what beats one through three sound like. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, and three. Now here's where it gets really cool in my opinion. So for beat four, we start with an eighth note triplet, followed by two sixteenth note triplets, and then we end this little chunk with another eighth note triplet. So let's talk about where this lands in the beat. So beat four, that first eighth note triplet, lands right on beat four. The first sixteenth note triplet lands on the let of four, the second sixteenth note triplet lands on the downbeat of five, and that last eighth note triplet lands on the trip of five. Now, when we play beats one through three and then four through five, you'll hear how this is really using metric modulation because it looks like the same rhythm as beats one through three. So I'm going to go ahead and clap out beats one through five so you can hear what the whole thing sounds like. Seven, eight, nine. One, two, and three. Four trip, let five trip. Now it's really cool because it's the same rhythm just modulated into uh, triplet form if you, if you will. So the rest of the fill kind of gets easy from here. So for six, we have two sixteenth notes. That's going to be six and the and of six. For seven, we have a sixteenth note rest on the downbeat of seven, followed by a sixteenth note right on the and of seven. Um, for beat eight, we have two sixteenth notes, which will give us eight and. And then for beat nine, we just have an eighth note, which is going to last the entirety of beat nine. So I'm going to go ahead and clap out six through the end of the rhythm so you can hear what that chuck sounds like. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight, and nine. Okay, now let's hear what the entire rhythm sounds like. Seven, eight, nine. One, two, and three. Four triplet, five triplet, six, and seven, and eight, and nine. <laughs> All right, let's throw this on the drum set and see what it sounds like. We're going to throw the floor tom on the eighth note on the downbeat of one. The rack tom is going to go on the two sixteenth notes starting on beat two, so two and. Now the eighth note on beat three is going to go right on the snare drum. So let's go ahead and play through beats one through three. We're going to play the same arrangement of drums for beats four through five, just modulated into those triplets. So for the downbeat of four, we're going to play the floor tom. For the let of four, we're going to play the high tom, and we're going to throw the high tom on the downbeat of five as well. And then for the trip of five, we're going to play that on the snare drum. So let's go ahead and hear what that little lick sounds like. Let's play beats one through three connected to four through five so you can see how that same lick modulates into the triplets. We're going to throw the two sixteenth notes starting on the downbeat of six on the floor tom. Then we have that sixteenth note rest on the downbeat of seven. And then we play a 16th note on the and of 7, which is going to go on the bass drum. The downbeat of 8 will also go on the bass drum. The and of 8 and then the downbeat of 9 will go on the high tom. So we're really just grouping all those rhythms into two for each drum. So let's go ahead and hear what the downbeat of 6 through the rest of the rhythm sounds like. Okay, now let's put the whole fill together.
was a good example of metric modulation in a random fill Friday fill. I actually really like it a lot, so I might practice it some more and add it to my little bag of tricks. Um, if you like it too, <laughs> record yourself playing it and send it to any of the Inspired Drumming social media accounts. I want to show you off, and I want to see how you're progressing with these fills. So excited to see you next week. Stay inspired.